Hi friends, welcome back to Natural Wisdom. How are you all? So, today we have an amazing topic. We're going to speak about something that uh, no one speaks about. It's very important and it's about your teeth and the animal food. So we all know that sugar and processed foods can damage your teeth. But uh, what we don't know is that uh, animal food can have an impact as well. So let's take a closer look at this. First of all, I want to say that all this is pure experience, self-experience and also some facts as well. So let's just speak about three things, three main things that is happening and uh, I want you to know so that you can have uh, the best health ever with uh, your teeth and your diet. So the first one is the, the phosphorus. So the phosphorus is something very interesting. We need it for bones and teeth, but if we have too much uh, in, in terms of more phosphorus to calcium, then we start to lose uh, our calcium deposits. And because of this, we uh, unbalance this ratio and we start to lose our calcium. And because of we lose our calcium, we also lose um, bone mass and bone tissue. So what is happening is like this. We all know that, for example, uh, some beverages can have like the phosphoric acid and also nuts and seeds can be too much high in um, the phytic acid which is a preform of phosphorus that we do not absorb but it acts out like phosphorus and because of this we have too much phosphorus and too little calcium so we start to have uh, an imbalance and because of this we start to lose our teeth and we have bone issues and stuff like this so now if you see clearly the animal food, it's mainly phosphorus. There's almost, there's very little calcium. I mean, there is some calcium if you eat, uh, for example, uh, sardines with the whole bones and stuff. Uh, it has to be like canned sardines or fry the tiny fish. Uh, it's possible to eat the, the entire fish and like this you eat the bones and you are having 50-50 phosphorus and calcium. So most of the foods that we are eating, uh, meats, and other foods like eggs and stuff it's mainly phosphorus and because of this we need uh, I know that the carnivore diet it's a, an amazing movement right now but because of this we do not benefit from calcium we do not have calcium we either eat uh, very often canned sardines or we are obliged to eat and we should eat uh, leafy greens and other foods like this that have more calcium. So another thing I want to speak about, I want to go to the other subjects so that we cover everything. It's the, the salt, the sodium. So sodium is very, very important. And, and according to the snake diet, which is uh, also another amazing movement, um, we need our, our salts. Without sodium, we can fall on the ground, especially when we are fasting and stuff like this. And just drinking water, this is the problem that most people keep on drinking water and they cannot hydrate themselves because there's no salt in their diet. They either are not eating salt in their food or they're not putting salt in their water. I do both. Um, the best, of course, is always, just like with the calcium and phosphorus, in this respect, we need 50-50 phosphorus and calcium, but for sodium and potassium, we need one-third sodium, uh, two-thirds uh, potassium. And that's exactly what we need. And because of this, we should be looking for unprocessed meats and other kinds of foods, even chips and stuff like this. Because when we eat processed uh, meats, they have a ton of salt. If you're eating 1.5 grams of salt per 100 grams, it is the minimum, it's not too bad. But when you start to go up like on the two grams, three grams and even four grams, and there's even five grams if you're not careful, that's 
too much salt and too much salt they uh, leach calcium from your diet once again it's again the same thing salt removes calcium from your calcium deposits from your uh, from your being I don't know why I think uh, we are fixing ourselves by removing calcium so that we can ingest this uh, crazy amount of salt I guess so what you have to look out for is to go for whole meats whole fish you prepare yourself uh, maybe you can salt them uh, yourself so that you know how much salt you're putting or you can also when you're buying your your uh, salted fish salted meats you can soak them before hen and then you eat them it's not as tasty but at least you are uh, not uh, doing damage to yourself it's nice we need our salt of course but not too much salt okay always give yourself your potassiums and uh, lower your salt intake and go for sea salt of course so the third one we're going to speak now to the dairy because dairy it's used to be the the food for the teeth since uh, it has since we have television pretty much <laughs> because um, it's like this we got the advertisements we all know that milk and cheese is good for your teeth but now let's see clearly if this is really the case so it is like this if you see the calcium to phosphorus foods ratio uh, on the animal uh, kingdom dairy is going to be ranked the highest it's an amazing food pretty much it has the highest uh, best ratio from calcium to phosphorus it's 50 50 literally and uh, it even has something very interesting which is it has the highest amino acid in lysine uh, to arginine ratio it's an amazing ratio it's huge we need our lysine more than the arginine arginine uh, we will if we get too much we start to get skin issues and um, more acne and all this stuff it feeds viruses so it's very important to have your 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 dairy but th here's the thing here's the catch if you are ingesting cooked dairy like cooked like you know the pasteurized milk pasteurized cheese everything pasteurized not raw you are modifying the enzymes and uh, and the nutrients inside the milk and you are not going to get the same benefit of all these nutrients as if you are getting them raw so they are true they have their high calcium it's good fertility and all this stuff but if you're getting them cooked it's not the same effect i'm not saying it's not gonna uh, give you any health benefits whatsoever but it is so much better at uh, 10 times better than having them uh, cooked it's much better to have raw uh, i have seen many times uh, for example i saw a video of a, a woman she put two dishes in one dish she put pasteurized milk and the other she put raw milk both not homogenized and uh, she left it on the counter for several days maybe several weeks until they get spoiled now the thing is that uh, the cooked milk became spoiled and the raw milk did not become spoiled it actually fermented it became something else maybe like i don't know if it became like yogurt or or cheese or something so she gave to the dog and the dog did not eat the pasteurized milk uh, already spoiled she ate only the raw stuff so just for you to see that it's amazing i'm not saying that animal food will cause you tooth decay i'm just saying that it not it will not give you the the highest health benefits that you're looking for because i'm sure you, you're coming from the background of um, dr uh, weston a price for example and snake diet and all this stuff you know and they give you they all say that animal food is the best of course they all say as well that it's better to eat whole foods and also uh, grass-fed and uh, pasture raised and all this stuff so it's much better to have all these things but for the ones who cannot afford we all know that we need always to uh, to go for what is healthier next so uh, no it's not just cannot afford I mean we can afford here and there stuff but the problem is we do not have 
in the town to buy because some places they just do not have it's like this it's how it works only in the us it's things are much faster much much more bioavailable but that's why you need to grow your own food grow your own animals and like this you can have your eggs and everything so do that and that's it for now and i'm sure i have much more to say but i just wanted to hit on these three things the sodium you, you have to get your more potassium to sodium more calcium to phosphorus we are we are all getting a ton of calcium if we are not careful as well but i'm just saying that if you're getting uh, most of your diet from animal food then you need to uh, to raise your calcium for example and if you're having your dairy then you need to uh, to be careful with the ratio as well so it's just like this small things okay we all want this vitamin k2 vitamin d and uh, calcium magnesium they are all good for the teeth and the borax it's all amazing but if we are not making sure we are having everything all the ratios uh, in check then it's not going to give the highest health benefit okay thank you very much for everything and um, see you on the next video.